Hi, this is Lori from Lori's Daily Life. I want to make this uh, Spellbinders Thinking of You with the Dia card. And I'm not going to make it for a specific plan, but I'm going to try making a card. I'm not really sure how this works. So, we're just going to kind of play it by ear. Um, I haven't found my paper powder yet, but. Did find some scissors and I told him he's like, I know this is gonna be wild and it's crazy and I don't know, but this is what I'm gonna use for my background. So I haven't found my paper color and all this mess. I don't hope I didn't draw it in the correct That's all I can say right now. See how it does, but who knows? It seems like I have the worst luck losing things lately. So, I mean, this paper pen is not that small. I mean, it's not a heavy one, but okay, I'm just cutting up. So that I can put it there. And this is going to be the back. Okay. Then I'm going to take my gear. I don't have really this planned out too much. So. Okay. I guess I cut my deer out. With this. And I have some brown paper for that. I can get it fitted in and get in. I get this cut. Okay. I'm sure you can see. And where's that tape? And then I've been working, 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 so then I come home and I want to make a video. And you really need the organizing here. So, I'm trying to do it at the same time. And that's why I'm having so much trouble losing and finding stuff. And I've got this big pile of mess on my desk. Okay, this hopefully will hold it in place. Oh, I need to turn this around. Okay, turn my diamond press around. Uh, maybe at the end, if we have time in this video, I will show the step and give away again. But we need a hundred subscribers slowly but surely. I think we'll get there this in some time. Okay, so what did this do? Brown leaves, man, it's ball. Dark. Oh, you know why it's too dark? Because it's not in the right way, right? We have to layer all of this up. So for the thinking of you for the woods. And I was going to use this. And I'm assuming I have to use this frame guy. 
for all of them. Maybe I should go to a color right here. I don't know, might be too sparkly, but I thought, well, I got it. I'm gonna use it. Let's see how it looks. Maybe it'll look better than we think. So here we are. And all I'm going to do is layer it out. So, um, you know, when it comes time to check it, I might have to cut these pieces off. You know, like the deer and the rabbit and the lambs and put them on a different way. I don't know yet. We're going to see how it works. Once we get them all cut out and kind of see what they're going to look like later that. One more, which is our thinking of you. So we have to figure out what color we want to add in. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> uh, um, you know, I might use this pink because it's got purple and stuff. It might look all right. And I think this one I am going to be um, cutting off. I don't want three frames. I know that. I might not have needed a frame for the the woods thing, but it could look really cute, right? So we'll see. We will see. If it makes it so solid barrier. Yeah, that's what it did. So let's see, it just cuts it out of the paper, but I'm just going to cut it off anyways. You know what I mean? I don't think I want the swirls on the bottom. I don't even remember. Yeah, there it is. There's swirls on the bottom. Darn it. Well, so should I cut the frame out? Honestly, they got this on the top. I was just going to set it in here, but maybe I'll go ahead and cut the frame out. Then we can decide. Okay. 
if we might cut out a lot. It's very pretty. I'm just getting a little extra pieces that didn't fall out. Okay, let me get this plan on here and we'll redo that. Okay. We're gonna send it through with the frame. And you can kind of see an imprint where the frame would have been, so I'm just gonna go Okay, let me try that. I think that's why it's a target tail for me here. Just give it a little quick shove to help it go since this. This is so warped. It stopped. Okay, so I'm going to try to connect this thing. Let's see if it works better this way. Yep. It's still back to that one spot. This one should be worse, not better. So. Okay. Okay, let's see if this one does any better. Hmm. It's like it's not going in straight. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let's try this one. is a pretty flat folder. So this should work. Here's something I never had happened before. Keep happening. Okay, this time something happens, I don't know what. There we go. It did kind of stop there for a second, but it kept rolling and it went. So, I don't know. That was so weird. Okay. Okay. So, I didn't get this fine there. Okay. 
So there's our three layers. And we want to mat it on something. I'm going to mat it on white. And I'm going to do this. So you can see, I'm going to take this and take it down. It doesn't move on me. And I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm just going to go a little bit bigger. I'm going to cut around. I'm going to cut around the top eye. Just to give us a little bit bigger of a mat. Now I gotta kind of see if it's right. Some shapes are easier than others to do. See how my corners are so different. That one was more rounded, this one not so rounded. Now this one's too messed up. I'm going to end up with the one that was a really small mat. Huh? Okay, let's see how it looks. Kind of cute, not cute. I don't know. Um, I don't want to put that dark white. This is quick dry smoke pearl. Well, this is way too big of a card for this. Way too big of a card for this. Well, dang, I thought it was going to be bigger. Tell you what, we'll fix it up. I might see if I just kind of this might be wrong. Oh, I was just too spark. Thing is, you gotta kind of go all the way through it again. Yeah. You can see through that. Not bad. Right. Not too bad. Okay, then I'm gonna put that down there. Let me get some glue. Always found my pen. See, I found my pen yesterday. And I, again, I'm like, I can't find a big old paper cutter, but I can find a little bitty pen. Tell me how that makes sense. I think I must have put that paper cutter somewhere while I was going through stuff, and that's why. And I don't know where I stuck it, you know? That's what I think. You know what might be kind of pretty is? That ribbon that I used yesterday put the bow up here.
not the black, but the pink. It was a pretty bright pink. It might not go. Just glue in real quick. Okay. This is going to go down first. And I'm going to try to get it centered a little bit. And then the deer goes. I should have. Maybe check these out, cut it, paste, paper paste in some green, or you know, you could just, you could just go over, glue green on top of it. For now, I'm going to say it's fall. I'm going to leave my green, my leaves brown. It's kind of up to you. And because I'm doing this for a video, I don't want to keep you up all night. You know, you could even piece in some red ones. Too much glue on here. Let me show through. And again, it's a tacky glue. Okay, and then we're going to do our thinking of you. We're going to girly it up. Let's see, there's purple in here. The leaves, you can kind of flow, have them flow the way you want them to. Put as much glue or as a little bit of glue in it. Sometimes you just want it for them. Good, but. Sometimes it's just as good to. This came out a little bit different. I think because of the way I had it. The way I went back over it. What do we think? <laughs> Let me see. That ribbon. Or a bow. Now. Everything just doesn't, doesn't. But you know what? That white. We could make a bow with the white, so. You see me do my bows up in the air. Take it. I try to go as far to the edge as possible so I'm not wasting. 
Now this could take a pretty good size bow, so maybe I will make a pretty good size bow for it. Okay. Cut you two loops. Cut you two loops. Take one and shove it in the other. As easy as that. Now did that just mess it up? As I usually hold on to it. It kind of did. Kind of did mess it up. Let's see. It needs to be turned. I usually keep a hold of it. And this time I really. Didn't keep a hold of it like I needed to. Try to tighten it up. There we go. There we go. There it is. Okay. Oh, here is going go fast. Get it done quick. Hold on, that angle. Oh, no. Okay. There's the bow. Before I put the bow on, I'm going to glue this in here. Now with the bow. See, I'm running out of glue in this. So I don't know if I have enough blue glue in here to keep it down. But I don't need the little micro things, so I might just grab on them. And I'm not worried about using tacky glue on this because this is watercolor thick, right? Thick, thick watercolor paper. So there's my there we go. And watch out for that tacky glue man, it dries so fast. Here's my little pen, but this I said it's empty, so I'm gonna have to refill it. Let me see if there's any glue in this. This is the tacky glue I use. Color, color, color. Quick dry tacky glue. Let's see if this works. But that's quite a bit longer. Okay, put it on here. Put it here. Okay, there's not this thick, okay? It's only coming out this thick, but it's kind of right up. That's one for the attachment, but it might work pretty good. I gotta cut this more. There we go. You can't even that out. Cut that bow. They have that Kalal 3D glue, and that's good for putting bows and stuff down. But just gotta hold it a minute. 
So remember, we are trying to get 200 subscribers for a giveaway. Um, like, turned out really kind of sloppy compared to how it looked earlier, you know. Sometimes when you kind of spread these things out, it's kind of like those folds are right there. I'll probably let it get loose. I should have probably tucked it up and put it back down. But anyways, so there is the background papers that you all probably thought was so ugly. And so it might not be the most beautiful, elegant color, but it's different and I like it and it's glittery in the background, shimmery. And then we have this that I just, my pad, my ink pad, and because that white, I was just going to use white, but it was just too dark. Got our little deer, our woods, the king of you, and the bottle. So there we go. Um, oh, let me see how long are we going. Okay, let me show you one more time. What is in the giveaway when we reach 100 subscribers? We have a tape pen and a body tape pen from Crafted Convenience. We have a Harmony Quick Dry Ink and a Lace of Glue. We have a Water Reactive Eye Lagoon. We have an opaque pigment. In anthracite, of course, the inks. We have card blanks, card envelopes. We have the with love guide. We have the sparkle pins. We have the stamp. I mean, yes, yeah, stamp and emboss and stencil. We have an embossing holder. And we have the fairy stamp. We also have a square bottle. Okay. That is for the 100 subscriber giveaway. Sparkle ink, did I mention those? In case I didn't mention those. Those are in the giveaway too. This sits up by itself waiting. Waiting for the 100 subscribers. And I can't wait to give it away. So if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe. Um, you can hit the um, notification bell and then you'll be notified when my new videos come up. Thank you for joining me for this video. And I hope you join me again. Thank you.